this is kind of a mid project update on this um, we follow the first couple videos of this truck uh, this is where we started just to do the frame refinish you know it was just un uncoated frame with the uh, light surface rust on it and things so we took it and took the bed off took it all down and uh, basically coated all this and that is just a VHT paint that's on here. But if you look at things like this, this is all bare. This is natural metal. We cleaned all that up and it's actually got a, a uh, satin clear on it. All this was removed, taken off, done. New shocks, obviously. Bilstein uh, 4600s. And painted all this up, cleared that up. Same with all of this over here. So that's just kind of the whole overview. There's a lot more to go to this. Um, got a brand new bumper that's going on the back. We didn't finish this out yet here because we didn't know we we're gonna keep these yet or not. It's just kind of what it all looked like to begin with, right through here, so. Um, that'll either get coated right, painted black, or the new bumper's down in there. We haven't even opened it up yet, so. So look at all the, through here, how this is all done, all that's bare, 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 the way it should be. Uh, the the uh, park and brake hangers, and the, the bolts are there. This board is there just to keep the, the <coughs> water from hitting the uh, gas or the diesel there, tank. And all this was done through here, keeping you know, the original frame decals. And this is the uh, VHT satin black here. Bear around no oversprays and, and this is your you know the tank um, shield and the tank we took that off you know cleaned it all up and it's all natural fiberglass like it's supposed to be not not spray painted or anything and your bolts on that a little surface rust on there but they're clean and your drive shaft that's not painted black that's natural metal there so really the only parts that are painted are the differential housing and the frame everything else is a natural or with a clear cleared it up all the body bolts there so up there see no spray bomb on the, the body anywhere and this is just done to make it look nice not to uh make it look like a glossy shiny frame with a a, a relatively used truck because this is a used truck it's never going to look brand new unless you frame off the whole thing um, <clears throat> and we're not doing that this is just comprehensive and we don't want to overdo it so and the same with that side it's natural natural and that's all. That's an original LBZ exhaust. Nothing's been modified on it. Still got the cat on it. Don't know if that's good or bad. <clears throat> like I said, under my ownership, it'll probably still be there. Looking like it's there anyway. <clears throat> uh, so far up to the front, this is where we've got uh, all this is done, lower control arms. These are all bare. We're gonna pull, when we pull the wheels off, I'll take the brake uh, calipers off and, and clean those up and uh, paint those, but not crazy stupid stuff separately. Uh, I don't even know where the brake pads are. They've, honestly, we've never even taken the wheels off this truck yet. So they'll probably need to be replaced. Uh, new shocks are going in. We've got new, you know, 4600s for the front. I just left those in there for now, and I've got new sway bar end links, the nice ones, the uh, old comp suspension or something like that on there. So, done all that, done all that, cleaned all this up. So, and you can see this is kind of where we stopped. This is kind of where we did the frame here and stopped right here because we'll do this with it off the lift, jack it up here and do that with the wheel off and finish all that up. Sway bar stays natural, and that's what it does. But it kind of what it looks like with the, just the clear on it right there, so it'll stay natural. Uh, no, you know, none of the CV joints or any of that stuff are spray bombed or anything like that. So, and these are like I've got new ones of these to go in there. So, and that's.
kind of it. So you can see the before and after kind of, and that's just a rough right there, stop line. And you see under here, we kept transmission cross member, natural. Um, that's, so. And all the, uh, these are the way the factory painted them. We didn't touch those. And you see up there, no, no spray paint hit it anything. The, none of the, uh, diesel cooler lines or the, uh, brake lines or any of that thing are spray bombed. It takes quite a bit to do this right and still look just like a, a used truck. So, just a nicer used truck. Yeah, well, the whole the whole package of this will look good when it's when it's finished. So, this is just kind of like I said, a, a mid project here. And when the wheels will come off, these will all be, you know, this will all be done up to matched. So, and we'll get up here a little bit better. But that's kind of where it comes along there. And the bumpers, like I said, it's just a factory replacement chrome one um what else do we have yeah of course you know the top of the bed actually over there is all finished out from the top too so not that you'll ever see it but it is and that's what a lot of people i think that take beds off of these trucks forget as they forget that people are not going to be looking down on it they're going to be looking up at him and you can see all the you know the serial numbers still in the frames here like that and that's a lot of a lot of the things i look for anyway you see them in there the part numbers and things like that it's right there you see there so it'll look better you know the way way i do it is from this angle here looking up than it does looking down with the bed off on it because well, the bed's gonna be on it. You can't see it, so. But it is finished. Like I said, I finished it all out on the top, so it's hard to see from up there. But and even the uh, the bushings, the shims there, they're not painted. You know, we take those off and the bed uh, shims, as you call them, pads, bed pads. <clears throat> So that'll, that's it. And uh, that's a kind of an update on it. And the bed is uh, out in the, where it was, but we've, I've had my, uh, one of my guys over there polishing it up. He did a nice clay bar on it and went over it with polish. And so it's getting done real well as the project goes on. And I have not undercoated the uh, fender Fenders, yeah, yes, yeah, real smooth now. Oh, pretty. So it'll look good going back on there. Of course, these, these will be, we'll get the different product undercoating for the GM stuff and put it on that. Uh, but I said, it's really got no, no, no nothing on this. This thing's nice underneath. It just needs to be cleaned up a little more. And I'll do that. In fact, the way I'm going to do this is we're going to lift it off of here, same way we put it on, and then work on the bottom of it before it goes back on the truck so do everything we can right here for now so that's kind of the update for more to come it'll be a nice turnkey project when it's done be a uh, really tough looking classic truck mm. Good Ford XL 4.6. The best truck I've ever owned right there. <clears throat> so. And then we'll do some uh, uh, basic mods to this, the, the LBZ motor. We're gonna do the, the EGR block off. I'm not gonna remove the whole thing. I'm just gonna do the block off and what they call the, uh, the wire change, the fin finger stick to keep it from coating. And then uh, probably do something with that catalytic converter. And that's it. And, and I, I'll do a, a, a programmer, probably a, a, a PPE maybe on it. So we've done that, on, I've done that on some other, and I've got a three and a half inch, nice 
chrome tip that it'll look factory. It looks not not anything gaudy. I'm going that just to add it, uh, and it's it's three and a half to uh, to four, so not a, not a, not a ridiculous thing. So these are factory three and a half exhausts on these, and of course it'll get two eighty five. Uh, 70 17s on the H2 chrome wheels, which I have with the chrome center caps, and that's gonna change it all. And I will put a, a, a one inch uh, spacer on the back, bring the wheel sitting right about there to line it up with the front because they're sunk in versus the front. So that's it. Look for more, just kind of a mid project uh, update there. Oh yeah, and so yeah, all these, you know, none of none of these are painted. Everything stays clean. All the connectors clean. Things you, the detail work there that most people miss when you do this, but it, it's time consuming, and the uh, uh, the result of this doing it this way versus just reaching under the truck and taking a can of black spray, spray paint and hitting it is about. Oh, 50 hours of difference work. <laughs> so, depends on what you want for your truck. So, thanks for watching.